Hey everyone, today we are going to dive into what I am calling an alphabet challenge. For the rest of the year, on Wednesdays, we are going to concentrate on a letter of the alphabet, and we are going to do it five different ways. I've got my little list, I've got my little books to look at, so we are going to draw letters, we are going to use a brush and do brush lettering. We're going to dive into some simple calligraphy. We are going to make collaged letters. And we are also going to do a freestyle. So I can't wait to do this because I want to make my lettering so much better. And that's what we're gonna do this year. So we're gonna go through each letter of the alphabet and see if we can't learn some creative ways to letter our artwork. Okay, I'm gonna be using a gel pen. I'm just gonna be using a mechanical pencil. I'm gonna be using a flat brush, a number eight with some liquid um, fluid acrylics. I am also going to be using a calligraphy pen by Zig, and that's my tools. That's what we're going to do with today, and we're going to do collage with some of these paper scraps here on my table. Yay! All right, let's just dive right in. The first one is a drawn letter, and I'm, I'm taking this from the Hand Lettering Made Easy book by Deborah Beagle. And we're gonna be doing these this year, hand lettering, made easy. This is called Karina. So let's, let's go ahead and just try to copy this A. And duplicate what I'm seeing. As close as possible. Cute little squiggle there. And then this comes out and down. And then this a little kind of swash. So that's kind of cute. And I will be making these letters for you and turn them into a printable so you can see what I am doing with mine. Then we're going to take these letters and we're going to put them on our little tags that we've been making this week. Hopefully. So this brush one is called Beginner's Guide to Lettering and it's by Kathy Ruger. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names. And Script Alphabet Uppercase Letters. So I am going, and these books are old. So I don't know whether they're still available or not, but I'm gonna give you mine to look at. So I'm just going to load my brush with some color. And make sure my tip is straight. And this is what she said she used. A lot of people use a pointed brush for their lettering, but this is what she said she used, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to come down, hopefully. I'm a little nervous here. This is new for me. Down and around. I didn't get too good of a slant there. Down and up. And then just a swash across. And I'm actually going to bring my brush back in and clean that up a little bit. So it looks a little more like an A. Okay, it's close. You're not supposed to putz around with it that long, I don't believe, but we're learning here. And actually, this is the first time I have been doing this, so I wanted it to be fresh, and I wanted you to see my mistakes and how I worked at it as we were going along. So I hope that helps you figure yours out. 
So we've done drawn, we've done brush. So now let's think about calligraphy. I think I showed you this last week, maybe not. Modern Mark Making, I love this one, by Lisa Engelbright. Breck. I'm sorry, Lisa, if I'm mispronouncing your name. It's an all-in-one workbook for artists, crafters, and journalers. And I love this book. It's got lots of resources in here for us. So this is a nice little, I think, easily done alphabet. And this pen makes it so much easier. It is, like I said, it's the Zig Calligraphy pen. And it has that nice little chiseled point for calligraphy. One thing I do know about calligraphy and all the classes I've taken is you want to keep it at a 45 angle, 45 degree angle. And that means like this. You want to hold your flat tip in this direction, if that makes sense, hopefully. So we're just going to start and I am going to start on my edge and pull down. That is one. This is two and up. Three comes over here and comes in this way. Three. Four comes out. Actually, it's supposed to go that way. And five comes out and down. And then six is the cross stroke. So that's pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. And the, I love this pen because it has two different tips. It has the thick and it also has a real thin one. So you could try that two different ways there. The next one is going to be our collage one. So let's just get in here and find some pieces of paper that I think we can make a collage. A. Lots of pieces and scraps. And Actually, that's kind of cool right like that, isn't it? That came together way too fast, I think. But I think any of these, like we could make it this way. But let's start thinking about our scraps in a different manner and how we can use those to create letters. So that was kind of fun. Just finding a way to use these scraps. Oh my goodness, I've got so many scraps to take care of this year. And I think I used the wrong side of that. Darn it. But that's okay. Sometimes we just have to go with the flow, don't we? I'm loving what's that's doing there and I've got lots of those scraps okay. and then the last one is from the same book that we used before the modern mark making and this is called casual script magiscules magiscules something like that <laughs> I don't know but I'm just going to use my nice little gel pen here to do this cute little a and this is what I really more than anything want to learn is how to do this casual kind of writing script. Okay, so I don't know how it starts, but let's just start over here. Loving it. And that has a little thing there. And I'm just going to come back in here and make this part heavier. Trip, tip, 
tips, tricks, and magic as we go along. This part has a little thickness. So I'm going to come in and fill that in. thickness also. Made a little booger there as I am prone to do. Okay, I think those are pretty good for the time we're having. So I am going to now move my book out of the way and I'm going to come in here and do some of this on our little tags that we've been working on this week. So I've lost one of the things out there somewhere on this messed up desk, haven't I? So I think it would be nice to do our, my calligraphy one back here. So let me start that one right in that area. Paint one with my paintbrush. On the back of here. There we go. That looks cute, doesn't it? I did much better on my second attempt than my first, so that's a good thing. Okay, which one are we going to use on here? Wouldn't, collage wouldn't be good, so maybe the casual one. I'm going to come in here with my little gel pen. Let's see if I can find a good spot to replicate this one. uses for this, don't we? So very many uses. I am loving this. So this one I think I'm going to do a collage on and this one is that drawn letter A. So I don't have a good place for that. So I am just going to tear a piece of book page. That's pretty good right there. I think I will put that on there, but I'm not going to glue it until after I draw my letter, I don't think. some more scrap pieces on my desk to do a little collage A. And there is a good piece to go that way. Some dark. same color as the background. I'm sure 
surely I have another piece here. That's kind of cute. Let me just tear that a little bit more. Give it some sharpness. Okay, I think we're good. We could probably even do a little bit of a book page across there. That might be fun. I think I might do that. Okay. So let me see if I like that one better. Nah. I don't like the pointedness. this on both sides. Tear this a little bit long. And bring my book page over. I like that, don't you? This is fun. <laughs> I can't wait to do this whole alphabet like this. about this is my granddaughter's name is Addison so I'm going to dedicate today to her she kind of watches my videos so this is Addison day making A's for Addison okay that's kind of cute I think we're on a roll here so I hope you enjoyed a day here with me and that you will be able to make some A's just like mine and have some fun as you're going about your crafting today. We just need 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, put these all out there for you to see. That was a fun day, wasn't it? <laughs> I had fun. Hope you did too. So well, next Wednesday, we will take up the letter B. And this was great. Day 43 for us. And I can't wait until tomorrow and see what we can get into. We will kind of finish up these tags, I think, tomorrow. That will be a good plan for us. And get then I'll clean my desk off and get all these scraps away, I think. So anyway, get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. And may joy be with you all.